Welcome to Bulldog's Heart. It's Limey. Yeah. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make slime with contact lens solution. Baking soda. Glue. A bowl and a spoon. And maybe food coloring if you want. But I tested this out like literally just like five seconds ago and it actually success. Usually when I try contact lens solution I usually add way too much baking soda by this time I had the right amount. Now if I were you, I would have like, I would probably have exact measurements, but you know, whatever. I'm crazy, I don't listen to the rules. I don't get exact measurements. So, yeah, I'm just gonna, yeah, yeah. Let's just, let's just get on to this, okay? And BTW, yes, I know that the lighting is horrible. So, if you want, you can have food coloring, um, but otherwise, if, I'm just gonna tell you the ingredients. Um, if you want food coloring, you can include food coloring. Okay? But yeah. Oh, the camera's so crooked, whatever. So, the ingredients are Elmer's glue, some baking soda, and contact lens solution, which, which your contact solution has to have either boric acid, boric acid, um, and I will put it in the description box down below how you spell it, okay? and. So it either has to have boric acid, um, sodium borate in it. Those two ingredients, it can, it can only have one, but it has to have one of those, which I will put them in the description box down below how to spell it. But yeah, you need um, that to be in your contact lens solution. So let's get started. And like I said, you can have food coloring too, but I already made a batch with food coloring. Hopefully it turns out good this time. Hopefully it didn't turn out like the first three times I tried. First three times I added way too much baking soda and it turned out like so rubbery. So yeah. What you wanna do first? I have no idea where to put this, so I'll just leave it there. Um, I literally have nowhere to put it, so I'm just putting it on the glue, can, my huge glue container, but yeah. So what you wanna do first is take your glue. By the way, I wouldn't add that much because if you fail like me, which I probably will fail, so let's hope that I don't because I just wasted like a lot of glue actually. So yeah. And then what you don't want to do, you would add your food add your food coloring if you're gonna add food coloring after you pour the glue, and then mix it around until it's all blended. And then you just want to take like a little teensy tiny pinch, no matter how much glue you have. You just want to take like a a pinch. Here, let me show you. So what I'm what I'm doing, I'm just doing this in my hand. You want to take one one full pinch, okay? About like one full pinch. Wipe off the other stuff because you don't need that. And then you want to put your baking soda away. And then you just want to mix all your baking soda in with your glue. Now you think that you added way too little, like, but please don't add more baking soda because it will probably be a fail. Your, well, yours probably won't, but mine definitely will. So just please don't add any more baking soda. Just add like a tiny pinch. And if you do need more, you can add it, but you probably won't. BTW. Do you guys like my spoon, by the way? It's pretty pretty, right? So then you want to take your contact lens solution, solution, and then you just want to squirt some of it in there. Like I said, wait, no, I never said that, never mind, but you want to do like you do with regular laundry detergent, just a little bit at a time. You guys can already see it's forming. You probably can't see because the lighting's horrible. But whatever, I'm not a professional YouTuber. Doesn't really matter. So yeah, just keep adding little bits of contact lens solution at a time until yours starts forming. Which, if you don't know what I mean by boric acid or sodium borate on your contact lens solution, just get the kind, um, just get OptiFree or Renew. Those two brands I know will work. Um, but if I were you, I would make sure that they have borac acid in it. But I know Renew and OptiFree will probably work. I think. I don't know. I've seen op I've seen people use Renew like a lot. Like every video I watch with contact lens solution, they use Renew. But I don't like that kind. I'm so sorry you guys can't see. It's, I know it's white. I should have put food coloring in it. So I'm sorry. But yeah. That was probably gonna be a fail. Great. <gasps> oh, it's not. But you guys can see like it's already turning into slime. Getting thickener. It's getting thicker is what I mean. 
and if you guys hear the wind chimes, well then, good for you. You hear the wind chimes. But just that, we have we have like four wind chimes. I can't really count though right now. But my slime is almost done. It still sticks a lot though, because I'm too scared to add like a whole bunch of contact lens solution. if you guys don't want to do this which you really don't have to it's not really that different from regular slime um, but you can still stick with your either borax solution or um, laundry detergent solution which aka liquid starch or tide that was probably like way too much whatever oh yeah definitely too much well, that's great. Probably a total fail now. Oh, and once your slime is done, um, you just want to basically cover your hands in contact lens solution. So you just want to pour contact lens solution on your hands and rub it around and then play with your slime. So it's not sticky anymore. You can see that it makes poking noises. Hopefully you guys can hear. Ready? Not that much because it's a very small amount of slime. Shoot, the other batch is drying up. <laughs> so classic, it's drying up so fast. Oh my god, I'll just like stick it in my pool. Yeah, no. But whatever. So, yeah. I'm just gonna add a little bit more to my hands too. Which, guys, you're probably, um, you probably all know that if you've seen that um, on the news that this girl used borax with her s to make slime and she got like third degree burns, I think. Or it's either, yeah, I think it's third degree burns. Um, but when she used it, she got third degree burns and you all don't probably don't use borax anymore. Um, but don't worry, borax is fine. Um, just like don't touch it plain, okay? But like that's not even the reason why she got burns is because she mixed um, baking soda with borax and another chemical. I forget what it's called, but it made an acid and the acid was strong enough to burn her hands. So you can still use borax. It is fine. It will not hurt you. Okay? Don't worry. It won't hurt you. You can still use it. I personally don't like to use borax that much because I'm horrible at using um, like making b slime with borax because it usually never works for me. I either add too much or too little. But I usually add too much and it always turns rock hard. So yeah, that's what usually happens with this too. I add too much, I usually add like way too much baking soda and then it turns rock hard. But yeah, this slime is actually not a fail. <laughs> yes! See? It is still a little bit sticky. Oh, and look, my brother's screaming just started. Sorry, I know that I'm spreading my legs out, just that they're too long to be folded up and all crumbled up because my foot literally is asleep. So if you see my legs moving, it's that my feet are asleep. Put it all over my hands. Okay, so I think the slime is basically done. You can see it's slime. Why is it so drippy? Yeah, mm, I'm horrible at this. But whatever, it's slime. You can do this recipe. It'll work, hopefully, for you guys. It, it like never works for me, but hopefully it works for you guys, so yeah. One reason why I like this recipe is because like you usually will get all the slime out of the bowl and like there won't be residue so you can just like reuse the bowl a bunch of times. But yeah, so that's basically it for this video. Hopefully you enjoy it. You don't have to try it. I was gonna say hopefully you try it, but whatever. Hopefully you do or don't try it. I don't really care, whatever. Yeah, bye, I'm weird.